I'm going to set my infinite plane here to uh, be a water surface. So I'll use this uh, silver water free resource from Bryce5.com and I'm going to introduce a model that I made in Wings 3D which is this simple boat model. It's comprised of uh, an inside and an outside hull and I've uh, e exported it as a 3DS file from Wings 3D so I'm just repositioning the camera so we can see what the, the boat looks like. Uh, you see it appears slightly faceted. To cure that I'm going to edit the mesh and smooth it just for below 45 degrees there so it keeps some of the corners and smooths some of the other surfaces so that's uh, tidied the appearance of that up and then using a side view and I'll bring the camera in a bit so I can see what we're doing I'm going to lower it into the water and uh, the issue which will become immediately apparent when I render is that the water has filled up the inside of the boat okay so what's the solution to this well, I'm going to suggest one solution here, and uh, and if there's a request for any further solutions, I'll, I'll try and think up some more. I think there are several ways this can be solved, but the easiest one that I can think of is to use object masking to generate a cutter to cut the water out the middle of the boat. And for that, I'm going to use a terrain. Now, because I've carefully kept my boat at the XZ origin, the, the Y origin obviously is determined how deep in the water surface it is, then I can use the views um, which are available here particularly this from bottom view to capture the appearance of the boat because it's selected now as an object where it's poking through the water plane here so the water plane will actually cover up the bits around the edges so that it only leaves the intersected bit poking through the bottom so I select object mask and I'm going to change the document setup so it's one to one so that'll suit my terrain and I'm going to set it to a resolution of the terrain I'm going to use that's 512 by 512 and at this point uh, it's a little bit distant so I'm going to zoom the camera in I'm going to actually zoom in closer so it appears like in the wireframe view the boat's exceeding the bounds of the terrain height map that I'm going to generate but that's not the case because the aspect ratio is not suited to uh, square the field of view doesn't match anymore only when you've got a 4x3 four, four along by 3 up aspect ratio do the wireframe views match the render views so there you can see now I've got a height map of the bottom of the boat where it's poking through the infinite water plane it, and if I was to move the boat up or down I suppose I can demonstrate that easy enough so if I move the boat right up out of the water and then select uh, bottom view here and render much less of the hull is poking through so as you can see control Z to take me back down again and select bottom view then uh, you can see that's exactly what we need we need this shape to cut out the water plane so I'll now go file and export image and that's hull cutter so I'll save that now I'll go file document setup. I'll get set up back for uh, doing my render now. I'll just change this to 850. I'll leave it square, it doesn't really matter. Switch back to my main view and remember to turn off object mask. Have a quick render. So there we are. I'll go into the create menu and holding the control key down and bring in a terrain in default grey. So there's my terrain. I'm going to edit that terrain. I'm going to set it to solid. I'm going to use picture to bring in the little mask I've created that I'm going to use to cut and if I click on here it'll bring this menu in and I can use the by modifying the position of this bracket I can make that outer edge disappear so I've only got this bit of the hole sticking up as you can see crudely in this um, preview and that then is my cutter it's not yet scaled to an appropriate size to fit in the boat so I'll use the side view and I'll zoom in a bit and then what I'm going to do is edit I'm going to flip the y-axis so it's an appropriate shape scale it down and lower it down slightly now at the moment manipulating this in the wireframe you, it's not at a very high resolution you can modify the resolution here with this little drop down menu so selected if I take selected up to its maximum and static up to its maximum it gives you a much clearer indication of where we are with positioning this so it'll make life easier 
so I'll just compress this down a bit so it's more or less matching the angle of the hull and then take it in as I adjust it it drops down in resolution automatically which is uh, not not that helpful so now I've just got it inside the hull as you can see oh there is a modification for adjusting it when it's in motion but uh, it doesn't go as high as the other one so now if I, I scale it up or down we get a slightly better resolution version but uh, well you can see it's just a little bit fiddly so that's going to be the, the bit that cuts the water out and there's my infinite water plane there so I go for the attributes for this terrain and select negative and then I modify the material of the terrain so we know that it can't be seen if it should be inadvertently seen by making it fully transparent I now select the infinite plane go to the attributes and make it positive and check out of that then holding the control key down or clicking where the terrain is and then holding the shift key down I select the terrain and the water plane together and group the two of them and all being well I have cut the water out of the middle of the boat I'll just zoom in you can get a closer look there so don't see any artifacts sometimes you might see the edge if it was scaled incorrectly the water appears get to go up to the edge of the boat and it's been excluded from the inside of the boat so that is one way to solve this particular problem that's the end of the tutorial